Help, my laptop is overheating. Time for some new heat sink compound. Welcome to Hack a Week. Yes, that's right, my Dell Precision M4400 is overheating. Every once in a while when I'm using it and it's something that's very CPU intensive and the CPU is getting hot and the graphics processor is getting hot, everything just freezes up. Sometimes the screen goes blank. The only way to get it going again is to do a hard restart. Hold the button down five seconds, wait for it to go off, start it back up and if everything's okay, It'll, uh, it'll reinitialize, everything comes back up okay. Sometimes it does it a few times in a row, I just have to let it cool off. Eventually the fan kicks in and it's okay at that point, the fan's on this side, but the air coming out is really hot, which means it's going way past the critical stage. And it probably means that the heat sink compound isn't really acting as a heat conductor between the CPU and the heat sink. I've read about this. It's a common issue with the M4400. Over time, the heatsink compound degrades and it doesn't stay as cool as it should. So, what's the answer? Change the heatsink compound. I did a little research and found this stuff. It's from uh, Arctic. What's it called? Arctic something. Um, anyway, Arctic Silver. And it's a heatsink compound. You can find it on eBay. And I've also got uh, the two cleaning fluids. There's a step one and step two to clean off all the old stuff. So the first thing we need to do is find a service manual for the M4400. I've got one pulled up right here on the internet. Let's take a look. On the Dell website, you will find a download for the M4400 service manual, and it's pretty lengthy. There's pretty much everything you need to know on it. Here's the main page, and it's got links of how to take different things apart. For instance, let's go ahead and take a look at the hard drive link. It takes you right to the page with the hard drive. So we'll go back to the top again here and we are going to, let's see, let's look at the base assembly. That would be the bottom right here. That's what we want to take off. It's pretty simple. This computer is quite serviceable. It's not that bad at all. So let's go for the overhead camera view and we'll get started. I've got a towel laid down on the workbench so I don't scratch the top of the computer. We're going to flip it over right now. Got a little tray here for screws. If I take out any, I'll end up putting them in there. I've got my little precision screwdriver kit. And I'm going to look at the uh, thing off to the side here, the service manual. And all we need to do is loosen this one screw right in the very center. We're going to pull out the battery. Once we loosen that screw, slide the bottom. There we go. We've got access to everything in there now. That's what I mean about the ease of serviceability on this particular machine. I really like that. I've been in a few other laptops where it is not that easy to get into the bottom. It's quite a procedure. So let's see. We've got a heat sink here. Uh, and it looks like there's one here. So we've got a couple of them going on. So we need to figure out how to get at the, uh, the CPUs that are underneath those two. We need to remove the fan first, as it turns out. Looks like there are one, two, three, maybe four screws. Do we have a screw hiding underneath there? No, I don't think so. Well, let's go ahead and take out these three screws. One. Two. And three. And it looks like they're all the same length. Now we've got a little plug right here. That we're going to pull on and out it comes. There's also a cover over this whole thing. There's a couple more screws here. Now I should be able to lift the fan out. And indeed I can. So there we go. There's that part. Now we've got, uh, let's see, it looks like there are one, two, three screws on that one, one, two, three, four screws on this one. I'm going to go ahead and take those out. Yep. 
Okay. There it comes. There's where the heat sink material is, was. And let's see, we've got one, two, and a third one there. So there's three processors that get heat synced and the ones we're concerned with are these two right here. I'm totally guessing here, but I'm guessing that that's the uh, graphics processor unit and that this one is the uh, central processing unit. This one has Intel on it. So we got to clean off all this old gunk first. Now what I'm going to do is take an old plastic card, one of those cards that you uh, use at the grocery store. The ones, you know, where they hold you hostage to using the card or you pay extra. Yeah, one of those. I'm going to use that to just scrape off the excess on the bottom of each one of the CPUs. Works quite nicely. That takes care of the bulk of it. Now we'll go with the cleaner. All right, step one, the Arctic Clean 1 Thermal Material Remover. We're going to take some of this put it on this lens cleaning cloth or you can also use a coffee filter or any lint free cloth you may have around just make sure it doesn't have a bunch of lint in it q-tip probably not a good idea you'll leave behind a bunch of lint you don't want any lint you don't want any kind of junk between the heat sink and the CPU we want to get a really clean surface so we have a 100 percent conductivity between the two uh, thermal conductivity that is. We're going to do the same thing now to the actual heat sink. We're going to scrape all of this thermal material off with the plastic first and then we're going to clean it. Get all this stuff off. Same procedure, we're going to put a little on the cloth. Now we're going to go for the number two thermal surface purifier. Got a clean portion of the rag here, a few drops on there, and we're going to wipe across this a little bit. I'm going to use the remaining piece of this card, so I'm going to clean it a little bit with some of the cleaning fluid here left on the rag. I just want to get all the impurities off from it. I'm going to use this to spread the heat sink compound around on the heat sink itself and also on the CPUs. So let's put a little on the heat sink first. Got this little applicator here and we're going to put just a small glob of it, maybe about one or two cubic millimeters right in the middle of the thing. Is it open? Yes it is open. We'll put a little bit right there and a little bit right there and what we're going to do now is take this cleaned off credit card and we're going to just kind of smear this right into the copper what we're after here is to fill in any of the little pores that are in the copper surface copper is a bit porous on its surface so what we're after is to fill in all those little voids that way we get the maximum heat conductivity between the CPU and the heat sink itself. Now we're going to do that same thing here on the CPU. So let's give those one last look. Make sure there are no foreign bits of anything on them. The surface of these is very glass-like. And we're going to put about a cubic millimeter down there. Now we're going to use the clean edge of this old plastic credit card type thing and we're going to just evenly coat the surface Spread it out in a nice, even pattern. 
work in both directions. What you're after is to get a nice even coating over the entire surface, corner to corner. You want about three to five thousandths. That's about the thickness of a human hair, by the way. There we go. Nice even coating. Now we're ready to put everything back together. Let's take one last look, make sure there's no hairs, no small woodland creatures. Uh, now we can put this end in first and we're gonna just slide this over into place and drop it down onto the CPUs. Now we'll tighten up all the screws again and now the fan goes back in. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you know what? There's a little bit of heat sink compound on the fan too. How about that? Let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay. Give it a little push there to make sure we've got good contact with the heat sink. And we'll get our two small screws. And then we plug the fan back in. Tiny little plug. And we'll tuck that wire back where it was out of the way and that's it we have renewed the heat sinks let's put the bottom back on just drop that in like that slide it towards the battery looks like that's in place tighten up the single screw that's on the bottom put the battery back in and let's start it up. Okay, let's start it up. Make sure everything's working okay. This boots up pretty darn fast. Uh, I am running Windows 10, and it's a preview version, uh, an insider preview version, they call it. I am on the Windows Insider program, and uh, have been for a while now pretty cool because you get to upgrade from Windows 7 to this version of Windows 10. So far it's been really really good. I like it a lot. Um, it's a really clean looking OS. It's a lot like Windows 8 but cleaned up a bit. Uh, as soon as we get past the little spinning circle here and we're fully booted up. Let's close that for now. There's the start screen is back and You've got all these things that you can, you know, post up there if you want, but you can uh, skip all that if you like as well. This shows just a few of the most used apps. If I click all apps, it shows all of them in alphabetical order. Uh, but the thing I really like about it is everything has a very similar look to it, and it's all very, very clean. I really like the clean look. There's no shaded BS on the menus. It's all very very simple just a nice simple clean look uh, give you a little idea here of what's up let's take a look at a picture here um, let's see well here's one uh, of a sculpture I did last week this is the photo viewer you see it's just the same kind of window it's all really simple now that I have my heat sink compound all renewed on my Dell M4400, I'm going to give it a little stress test with Furmark. It's a free software program that will stress test your GPU, F-U-R-M-A-R-K. Just go Google it. You'll find a download for it somewhere. Check out Arctic Silver's website if you're interested in this product, arcticsilver.com. I found my stuff on eBay for about $15. I hope this video helps you out. 
And if it does, and you'd like to donate, you can do so at the link down in the video description. I'm going to go ahead and fire up a GPU stress test here. And we'll part ways with the screen getting all crazy with some graphics whilst I cook my GPU. Thanks for watching, and until next time, wow, man, funky. Help, my laptop's overheating. Time for some new heat sink. Compound.